I know the tournament is finally here, and this, this episode is called Let the Games Begin. I am so excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu, episode 12. Almost messed that up of season two. Last episode, we ended off the training camp, started getting into that mindset of these tournaments, started seeing some new potential competition, even though there's so much competition out there, it still blows me away. And then overall, we're just getting ready. All of our players, all of our teams, I'm so excited. Now, if you guys are currently watching us on YouTube, that means we are four ahead, episodes ahead on Patreon. So if you guys want early access and full length, of this show all the other shows i'm watching check out patreon down below if you guys want to support patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down there for the youtube algorithm to pick me up i appreciate you oh so very much don't forget to follow me on twitch and on twitter let's hop into this haikyuu second season episode 12 let the games begin the japanese national high school volleyball tournament miyagi qualifiers first preliminary so this is the first one we're not a powerhouse team yet but we're going against powerhouse teams so like we're starting to get known you know wow i was about to say instead of puking in tanaka's pants this time <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird to think about, you know. <laughs> I need to have a bathroom song. Oginami? Oginami. Okay. That is hilarious. That that is so funny. Karasuno. As soon as they as soon as they see the dead eyes, they all know. Even Ushiwaka. Ushiwaka. <laughs> Shiro Torizawa. Nice kill. Oh my god. He's gonna take this. <laughs> oh my god. Tanaka has me dead so often. Karasuno! Fight! So good seeing this fucking man. Those are the two kids I was helping Hinata too. Yeah, oh yeah, he knows. He knows, don't you worry. <laughs> there's no match that you can't win. And there's no match that you win for sure. Hell yeah. You're not wrong there. I've never heard of this team, and it, like, their 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 the ability to give you tension is so good. This show is just so good. Like, I've never heard of this team, and I I want us to do so good. I want them to do so good. You know, I was a fantastic first serve. Oh my lord! <laughs> Exit. Good shit. Good shit, Suki Asai. Up by five. Oh my god, Daichi is so perceptive. He is crazy. Everyone's just so perceptive now. We're able to pick up on so much. It's crazy. Yep. Exactly. They were so different. Yep. All are, just, that means every level we needed to hit at least improved somewhat. So that's crazy. Far more. <laughs> Don't give us a flashback. Oh, they went against your. That's why he said no matter what, everyone gets crushed by Shiro Torizawa in the end. Oh my god, they got shit on. Who's this guy? Fucking Alfalfa. Dance ball, it's up there. 
Yeah, he's going through it. I am able to see what this character is thinking and how he feels after knowing him for 30 seconds and just hearing his name, but seeing this man, this is crazy. I love I love this coach already too, this alpha alpha guy, even knowing him for just a second. He's just like Hinata, in my opinion. And I'm guessing he was a third year, that's why he's not there anymore. He has to hold up a strong face for his boys, his team. Oh, that's a fantastic transition right there. Oh my god, this show is popping off. Oh my god. Suge. And he knows how intimidating Ushiwaka is. He knows what that means. He knows what that entails. And that's so big. It, it's so inspiring because, like, again, that's why Hinata is so inspiring to so many people. There are so many people in this who are like Tsukishima, who are like Towada. I, I, I'm assuming how you pronounce his name, who are just like, why even try under the umbrella of overwhelming talent and latent potential? Why even try? There's no amount of perseverance and hard work that's able to beat that. But Hinata is worse off than 90% of the people in here because he's short, because he is this, that, and the other, you know? But he, that hasn't stopped him his whole life. The only reason he's at even where he's at right now is because of his mentality. And it's just like, it's not only amazing to see that mentality inspire others, which I can tell he's gonna Hinata's gonna inspire this guy, but other people who are similar to Hinata out there who have been doing that from the jump. Like I really like that captain, you know. He's he's a great captain that he needs to be, even though he had to go, you know, do his little vent, his little his little cry sesh, which is much needed, you know. We all gotta cry sometimes. Just like you always gotta appreciate times like that, you know, guys like that, you know. That's him right there. Hey, damn it. Don't all get quiet. <laughs> Aki. That's true. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hell yeah. None of that's lame. I gotta agree. Can't argue with him. <laughs> All this feels good re emotional shit make me tear up. Hell yeah. Bro, how do they do this with characters I've met this episode? I love the motivation, you know? I want to feel motivation like this in my life. Like, look at this, you know? I don't want them to beat Karasuno at all, but why do I want <laughs> Ogi, whatever their fucking school name is, to win so bad? Like, And this time he's gonna go for it. The same exact scenario. And you're gonna go for it this time. No. Come on, what would Aki do? Oh, that's like reminiscent of Hinata in the first episode. Hell yeah, Captain in play. Come on, boys. <laughs> Goes for it, too. Good save by Nishinoya. Man, this is a fucking rally. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> They lost, but they lost in a very, a very satisfactory way for me. Like, he got the the mental preparedness that he needed, you know. Underestimated Hinata. Thought he was a fool for saying what he said, but no. A quick 2-0, man. On to the next game. Hey, it's good to meet you, Tawada. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's true. Hold on to it. 
motivate yourself. I genuinely... <laughs> He's an awesome ex-captain. I genuinely want to motivate myself like some of these characters do in real life, you know? Those are good dudes, you know? Good dudes. Man, how does this show give me to tear up poor team that I met this episode twice in one episode, you know? Oh no, not another fucking unit. Two meters? How tall is that? Like 6'5", 6'6", 6'8"? Oh no, it's one of those just why bother type players. Kakugawa, that's the first year that Ukai was talking to Takara about. And we're going against him next. He's a first year. He's a first year who's fucking tall. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Oh my lord. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So I had to go blow my nose again because I'm still wondering how they were able to make me feel so much for a team that I met this episode. Like, that blows me away. Like, Aki and Tawada are some fire characters. And I, like, I completely get where Tawada comes from. You know, I know so many people who are like that. And, you know, it's not necessarily a bad mentality to have. It's just being complacent, you know, being content with whatever. Whereas I feel like there does need to be a certain ambition, you know, that drives you forward no matter what. Like, that frustration needs to be so bad to the point where you can't feel that frustration again you want to work so hard to make it so you never feel that again and he had a good cycle of of dealing with it that i feel like is so just common amongst people who deal with stuff like that losing i should say like he loses and he's only pissed off for three days and then he gives up and he you know who cares about it anymore and then once he's in that position where he's getting cornered again he's like shit i should have practiced he loses he gets pissed for three days and probably practices like hell for those three days and then gives up you know like long-term goals short-term goals you know like each I, I i understand that you know going to the gym is very easy for like the first week but you know motor like long-term motivation is very difficult to come by so i'm always an advocate for that and i will not lie to you guys it is very hard for myself even but i i constantly try and use anime because like if you think about it at the end of the day these are just stories of characters just like anything else books movies tv anything so the ability to find motivation and inspiration in your actual day-to-day -day life from these characters like i'll genuinely see something or I'll have an issue, like, I'll be like, should I edit this? Or should I just go play video games? Or should I go just take a nap? Or should I do this? And I'm like, what would Deku do? What would Hinata do? What would Naruto do? You know, I literally don't even have to ask myself that. I know they're going to get it done. Because that's just the type of person they are. And that's the type of person, you know, I want to be. I want to be that person who just gets it done. So it's like... I love in anime when you can have one character inspire another character due to rela you know relatability and that's why so many people love so many characters in this show because they're so relatable you know like Hinata is that guy who has dealt the shit hand but still perseveres uh, Kageyama is the egotistical guy who just wants to get shit done but doesn't know how to get shit done the right way you know it's like Tsukushima is that you know everyone has somebody they relate to and it's just it's just a beautiful way to tell an anime relating to volleyball that's it's like half it's like 50 percent volleyball in my opinion 50 percent volleyball 50 percent that it's it that doesn't even make sense it's like 100 percent volleyball with 100 percent characters like it, it, i'm not doing them justice by even not giving them less than 100 percent because this show is just it's 200 percent this show is like every other show is 100 percent this show is 200 percent. so thank you dapper squad i am out of here peace out you guys fantastic episode